where we've seen fires popping up all over, just about every corner of the state. Oregon has been facing fire after fire this summer, leading to hazy and smoky skies, to evacuation orders and a need for outside assistance. The Northwest Interagency Coordination Center says there's about 24 large fires the state is currently facing now, leading to the area being under preparedness level five, meaning... So the Northwest, it being the number one priority in the nation, it focuses on resource allocation that comes across our borders, basically from the other states. Um, and we're prioritized to get those resources. Carol Connolly with the Northwest Interagency Coordination Center says those fires make up around 500,000 acres. She also says thanks to the state getting over 800 lightning strikes this weekend, they are tracking several new large fires in the central Oregon area. We're going to pick up what we call holdover lightning fires. Um, a lightning strike can hit a tree, a single tree, and it might smolder around the, the base of the tree and it might take a couple days for it to actually go above the treetop to where we can detect the smoke and find the fire. She says there's about 9,000 firefighters and support personnel working these fires and the region has even gotten help from several states and two different countries, Australia and New Zealand. Fires like the Rail Ridge Fire in Crook and Grant Counties, which is over 135,000 acres, and the Shoofly Fire in Wheeler County has even led the governor to invoke the Conflagration Act Friday, allowing the state fire marshal to mobilize resources to wildfires when life and property are threatened. The Red Cross has also been on scene, helping those needing to evacuate all summer long. We have opened 23 shelters now since June. In fact, just last weekend, we have opened up three shelters. So Lake County, Crook County, and Grant County. Um, and that's because of these level three go now evacuations. While the Lake County Center is now closed, the Red Cross says they keep their centers open for as long as needed and says when you get that go now alert, you should listen. She also stresses the importance of always being prepared with an emergency kit and a plan. Ask yourself, what would happen if I had to evacuate my home at a moment's notice? What would I bring with me? What would I need to grab at a moment's notice? Where would I go? The Red Cross also says people should download the Red Cross emergency app to stay updated with the latest alerts. With fire season not being over yet, the Interagency Coordination Center also urges people to be extra care careful to prevent human caused fires, which will only take away critical resources from the fires that are unpreventable. John, back to you. All right, Celine, thank you. Definitely has been a tough wildfire season here in the state.